Yeah, Guy, you're right. A lot of fans from all across the nation made it here to Phoenix, and it is just a gorgeous day out here. U.S. Airway Center is about a block away from here, but this is Super Bowl Central. And take a look. This is several blocks of downtown Phoenix blocked off for interactive games and displays. But let me take you inside U.S. Airway Center and show you just the madness that was going on. 5,500 media were there, credential to this event, media from 22 countries. And although this event could have easily been watched, at home, people paid money to be here. And if you're wondering, how did the fans get to enjoy the fun? Well, they were given earpieces that tune into audio for the players and the coaches at the podium. I mean, what are you getting out of it? Uh, I didn't realize that they were going to have the screens going on and that you'd have the, the radio and be able to listen to everything. So uh, it's been really good. Uh, you don't get to hear from guys like Brandon LaFell as much. You don't get to hear from guys like uh, Devin McCourty. So being able to hear, hear them, hear their perspective on the game is pretty unique. And that's been really entertaining for me. And if you're wondering, tickets to today's media event was about $50 and then last minute on StubHub for about $150. In the meantime, though, I'm going to bring in sports director Jason Barr here. And Jason, uh, because of Deflategate, which has been a big story in the sure. last couple of days, another big storyline has actually been overshadowed. Yeah, you know, it's something that we would have been talking about a lot in the last week, but not because of the inflated, uh, deflated football situation. And it's the fact that the last coach of the Patriots before Bill Belichick was, yes, Pete Carroll who coached New England from 97 to 99 for three years, had a good record, 27 and 21, a couple of playoff appearances, but was fired by head coach Robert Kraft. And you know what? It's a move that actually worked out for both of them. It didn't work out, you know, and, and for uh, numerous reasons. But um, what I respect the most is how he was able to gain his footing and find a way to put together a franchise that's, that's you know, created history for the NFL. And, and he's been in the leadership position to get that done. And I think he's done it in a magnificent way. He has that certain presence about him that people respect. And he, he can reach any player on our team. You know, he, he does a great job in that aspect. So Seattle trying to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. The Seahawks would be the first team to do that since, yes, New England did it 10 years ago. Stella. All right, Jason, I know you noticed there was a lot of dancing going on yeah, at sure. Media Day today. And coming up in just a few minutes, I'm going to let you know who Pete Carroll thinks is the best dancer on his team. Guy, back to you.